Hey everybody, how you doing today? My name is Michael. I'm Dion. And welcome to Misfits Adventures. Hey, thanks a lot for watching our videos. We guys, uh, we're getting more and more subscribers and we're getting more and more people watching every week. We really appreciate that. Hey, and while you're here, let's go drop down here and you can uh, give us a big like by clicking that. And then you can uh, give us a subscribe by clicking that. And then if you ring that bell, you're going to get uh, a notification that we have a video out every Sunday. So uh, check that out. So this week uh, we're kind of off a different day. We had to work six days to get to our day off because uh, we had Tuesdays and Wednesdays for two weeks off. Uh, it was really super hot last week. It's getting a little better here. I think it's what, 82 degrees it's been for the last couple days. Uh, partly cloudy skies. We haven't got the monsoons like they said we were gonna have. It kind of rained for maybe 10 seconds yesterday. And I, my leg got wet because I was on the golf cart driving around. And that was probably about it. As soon as I went around the park, it was all dry again. So that's, you know, that's just the way it is. So we here are here at work camp and uh, everything's been really good. Uh, we are now looking for jobs for the winter. And we found a few that don't want to pay anything, but uh, you work for your site. And that's usually the common thing in, uh, in the winter time, uh, especially down in Yuma, Arizona or let's say even Havasu does that some places. Um, all the places in California seem to do that. Yeah. So uh, I don't know what we're gonna do yet. Uh, we're trying to get with this company that we're here with. It's Roberts, uh, Roberts Resorts. And they have something down in Flagstaff or near Flagstaff. And uh, we might, uh, if we can get a hold of everybody, try to talk to them and see what's going on there and see if we can just transfer over. Uh, our contract actually supposedly ended here or will end here in September uh, like the middle of September sometime but they said we could stay up until uh, the middle of October if we would like to so that's something that we are going to probably do if we have to do uh, so meanwhile we got some things we have to do on the truck before we go uh, when we got our front end alignment they said hey you know something those shocks you got really need to be replaced up in front and we replaced the back ones, but we never did replace the front ones because I didn't think there was that much of a load. Um, they're not leaking, they're okay. I think they just wanted to do the whole job, you know, all at once. But we have another problem on the camper or the uh, truck, and that is the front brakes. Um, we have used two pads on the front brakes already. We never changed the rotors. I never had them uh, ground down or anything like that put on the lathe. Uh, so we're going to have to get new rotors and new pads before we leave because you saw that video last week when we came down from Telluride, it was nothing but boop, 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 all the way down when you put on the brakes. So that's really not good. And I guess we just have a warp uh, rotor. So what we need to get is heavy duty rotors in the front, whatever we do, um, so they don't heat up as much because these are just the rotors that came on the truck and you know they're probably just cheap rotors they're not the <laughs> Bosch rotors or anything else so uh, that's something we've got to do and uh, yeah so we'll be doing that in the next few videos fixing that and uh, getting the camper already the camper is pretty good uh, it is doing all right we got to get our tags uh, we sent away for those and hopefully they get here in another week uh, what else we have to do is this. We put a new one on. We tightened it up too tight and we cracked it at the bottoms and the sides of this square piece. So this piece here, I can cut it and buy a new, or get a new one and put it on that's square so this goes in. This is a separate piece. This is the valve that opens up the gray water tank. This is the valve that opens up the uh, poop tank. So we'll have to fix this. Um, I think the best way to do it for right now because this is one unit and I might have to buy this and I'll have to take and cut it up here and then uh, buy a new one of these here to go on it or just cut it here. I think this is a whole piece too. So we'll figure it out. We'll get with the uh, plumbing department at one of the RV shops for sure. 
Meanwhile, I think what I want to do is I want to spray this with that stuff you see on TV, that rubberized stuff, and uh, clean it up a little bit, and then spray that on and see if that helps. It doesn't really leak a lot. It's not going to leak all the time, and we always have it open. Matter of fact, I think there's a little water of it in there, and that's probably from the other day when it rained. So, yeah. Camper's looking good. Yeah, that's our air conditioner. Our little roll around. We stick that out the window, as you have seen. Um, I'd like to get a new tire uh, cover for this. And uh, this is working out pretty well. Dan was saying how it's cracking. But yeah, it's cracking in where they put this wood together. So this was not one big piece. They had them all glued. So basically what's happening is, well, that one's cracked. And that one's cracked. We might be losing it and I might have to fix the other one. That was in a video before we left uh, San Bernardino over there. So all right guys, so today we decided uh, we need to go make a video because I have none in the background. This is actually, we're gonna do this and it's coming out Sunday. Yeah. Now, usually I have three or four in the back. I don't, because we got lazy last week and just sat around and did nothing, which we needed to do. It's been working. So anyways, guys, uh, what we're gonna do today, we are going to go to the train museum. Uh, this is the train that goes up to uh, Silverton and they have this big museum. It's like 12,000 feet of train stuff and old memorabilia from the area. Um, there's just all sorts of stuff in this building from what people say. I didn't want to really go. She keeps saying about it and then a couple guests here said, hey, no, that's a really neat place to go. You really need to go see it. It was on my list. I'm like, well, okay, <laughs> we'll go check it out. So we're going to bring you today. Uh, Max is in the house. Hopefully he's being good. And then uh, we're going to get in the truckster and uh, we're going to take off and go down there. It's right downtown. Uh, Durango, that's where the train comes in and out. I believe there's trolleys there also to take people up a little bit to the, uh, I think it goes on some of the RV parts. Yeah, it does. Yeah, so there's a trolley up there too. I don't know if we'll see it. So hey, let's go check out uh, downtown Durango right now, guys. So we're here in Durango and uh, here's some of the shops across the street over here. Bagels and sandwiches and corn to go. What? what is this? Oh, popcorn to go. <laughs> I just said corn to go. He owns on the other side of all these cars over here. We're gonna cross the street. Uh, I think we need to go over this way to pay though. Oh no, she's going over there to pay. So that's where we need to go. How much is it? Oh. Yeah, did you put a credit card in? Yeah. How much? It's a dollar. So they're gonna put it on a credit card. We have change. No buttons for that. No. Well, so silly. silly them. I thought they would have a key hoss over there and you just drop your money in the box. So we found out that the machine doesn't work. Uh, it won't take payment, so I guess it's okay to park here. If it's not, well, we're sorry, but we did not pay, okay? So now we're gonna go across the street and that's called jaywalking, she says. But we're doing it again, because why not? Cowgirls. Gifts. Oh, look at that, honey. Here, sit down with them. <laughs> there you go. Isn't that cute? <laughs> Dion, Dion's got a friend. Put your arm around him, honey. There you go. Give him a little smooch on the kid cheek. Come yeah. on. Come on. You're easy. Oh, there you go. Hmm. Here, sit back down. I want to take a... I'm going to get my camera on. I'm going to take a picture of you. All right, let's see. Can you hold the camera? No, I can do this. Uh, got it open. Go that way. Go that way. And guess what? Does that look good, guys? Let's see. 
I'll go ahead and take that picture. <laughs> there we go. There you go. All right, so uh, this is the little depot for Durango. We want to go look at the railroad. We want to see all the old trains and stuff. Oh, wait a minute. We have a directory of downtown here. Let's see what that says. So we're here. Train comes around, makes a loop, goes to the station. It's a narrow gauge train and then goes back up to town. Here's where some bathrooms are. That's always good to know, huh? Mm-hmm. Especially when you're old like us. All right, so, uh, ooh, look at all that over there. That's the restaurant, I guess, in back. You could sit outside and dine out of fresco. I like that. Silverton, scenic trains. Trips to Silverton. So you can visit our museum, now open. That's what we're gonna do, guys. We are going to the museum and checking all this stuff out. So Dion's looking at the uh, sign over here. There's a couple plaques. Let's see what they are. Durango Silverton Railroad Narrow Gauge Line. National Historic Landmark in 1967. 1882 is when the uh, we're going to go ahead and figure this out. We don't know where to go into, and uh, we'll be right back. Let me figure this out. Coming around the corner of the building here, and Dion noticed that uh, the sign over there, a little windy out here, this is the DNS Museum. It's way over there. So we're going to have to walk over there and check this place out. So before we uh, go across the street, we want to go ahead and look at this old depot, uh, train store, caboose coffee shop. Here is what they do in the morning for the Silverton train. Uh, the 8.15 in the morning train gets up there at 11.55. The 9.45 or 9, they've got different trains going up. They got the diesel and they got the steam up here, the bottom one, Cascade Canyon Express. And I don't know how far that goes to Cascade, I guess, wherever Cascade is. Cool, huh? Standard class right here. They got a gondola, they say. That's pretty cool. All right. I don't know. We've seen gift shops before, but let's see. What's that one look like? Pretty cool, huh? All sorts of Durango shirts and jackets and caps. Uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm not getting on there. <laughs> that, those were scales. How much you weigh, hon? It doesn't work. I know it doesn't. But it scared me because I didn't even want to get on it and go, hey, you weigh 400 pounds. 55 pounds. You got any Durango stickers here? Mm -hmm. Buy a Durango sticker. Which one? Those stickers or are those something else? Those are magnets. I don't want magnets. Stickers only. These are all magnets. These are all magnets. Yeah. What are these here? Nope, just little co coasters. Mm -hmm. well, that's cool. Coal. A chunk of coal for three dollars. <laughs> okay, chunks of coal. A chunk of coal in your stocking. That would be good for kids. And then they have stockings right here. Isn't that cool? So, all right, guys. All we had to do is go through the gift shop. And look, we come out the door. And we're on the railroad tracks. Yeah, this was the old depot back in the day. They still use it. People still get on the trains from here. Looks like they got an engine over there or something off of an engine. 
So we got to walk along the tracks and uh, pretty, pretty cool, huh? Do not cross there. Smell the oil from the train leaking it. That must be all the way up the track, you know that? I don't know. We uh, rode our bikes on uh, right next to the train tracks going out of town when we first got here. It's been a little too hot to ride our bikes, but I think we're going to start. Look at this. These are the old cars. I mean, literally, they did use these. This is so cool. I wonder if you can go inside. I don't know. They got electricity to them. Re reservations, telephone, online service. Cool. So the DNS and NG, that is the name of the railroad. So we're going to cross the tracks here. And hey, guess what? I think we're here almost. What do you think? Mm -hmm. So we're going to go see if we can bring the cameras in and if it's any money. And uh, we'll be back with you in just a couple seconds. So the Durango Silverton Railroad, narrow gauge railroad. This is the museum. Go ahead and pause this if you'd like. And I think we'll go ahead and step inside. So this is the entrance. I guess it is free. That's what they say it's, it is. Uh, this is all the things they have in here. They got a deer in here. They got deer antlers. They got turkeys. Look. They even have a bald eagle stuff. That's, that's plastic. Oh look, fire engines. These are all the guys that I guess worked here over the years. This is a uh, sketch, colored sketch of the Rio Grande. Three seven six seven. That's the number. Let's go on ahead and check this place out, huh? There's a beautiful painting of it going around the corner. This is the major attraction for Durango, basically. It's the uh, train itself. Western Pacific. Look at all the locks. Oh my goodness gracious! Are you a collector of old rocks, locks? Or newer ones. Excuse me, sir. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, Dion. Come here. Who's your Who's your friend? You almost knocked over. I don't know. It's huh? Mr. Conductor. Oh, it's your conductor. <laughs> is he going to uh, take your ticket? Probably. Ooh, okay. <laughs> hey, this is a ticket guy, huh? I don't know, but we're right next to the. Uh, fire department here, Durango Fire Department. This had to have been one of the old uh, fire trucks here. We got the, uh, the guy up here steering it. Yeah. Let's see what they're doing in here. This is actually a working shop. You see that locomotive in there, guys? Guy is grinding on this... Uh... Actually, he's not grinding there. He's... Uh... Taking a chisel and chiseling out some, huh? Yeah, that's pretty neat. You can see the the caboose in the back, or the coal car in the back. You can see the boiler tank right there. Hmm. So these are the seats that used to be probably in the uh, in the depot. People waiting for their train to come. Look at all this stuff. Look it up on this wall up here. Pretty 
cool. Well, here's another window we can look in. We can see the uh, what they're doing in there, maybe. They're dirty guys. Do not watch the ark. Anybody remember this guy? There was a Rocky and there was a uh, Bullwinkle, maybe? I don't know. That's what he kind of looks like, huh? wheelchair rickshaw type thing. That's pretty. That was a one awesome looking band right there, but I think that was not like back in the 1800s. I think it's just a black and white photo of some modern guys. And then they have more and more deer and antelope and all sorts of things. Here's their fish. Look, trout. That looks like a trout to me. I don't know, maybe it's not. I bet you on the other side it's gonna tell us. You see the one over there walking? That's a big old fish, guys. I like it. It tastes good. So they got a lot of uh, stones here. Check that out. I don't mean the rolling stones. But there's fish. Some more paintings. That's pretty. So we're 10 Railroad guys, you gotta come on it. We will sooner or later, hopefully. how they pumped the oil out. Here's the other side of that uh, Durango fire engine. Some of the pictures of it when it was back in the day. Here's some models of fire engines, Texaco, these Texaco ones. I don't know if you guys can see these in the dark, these are beautiful. Would you not want one of these? Look at the wheels on these things. Look at the wheels. The wheels are so neat. Check this one out. One of the first horseless carriages, you know? And what it run on, do you think? I bet you it ran on electricity. And that was a steam cart. Check this out. This is a steam cart here. Check 
check this thing out. All these solar panels, all welded together. Put on as the top to it. It was a racer. I would sit in here. How about a nice Chris Craft boat for you guys? How would you like to have that? That's beautiful. Look at that woodworking. Well, let's step back into time a little bit and we can go with the uh, carriages. We've got a nice horse here. Beautiful horse. Guy's got a nice buggy. What else would you want in life, huh? Well, you're a pretty horsey. Huh? Oh, that's pretty cool. Push me, pull me. That's what that is. You sit on it. And you pump back and forth and it goes down the track. So it's a motorcycle, dude. That is a railroad motorcycle for the guys building the tracks, probably. That is awesome. check the uh, engine out up here. Hey, let's do that. We'll climb up in here and look. So that is the boiler right there. That is uh, where they put all the coal, or they used to put wood back in the day, right? And they would fill that up and it would get so hot, all these valves would go to something special. So it would go for Oh gosh, I don't know, blower, air pump, uh, line right here looked like the line that you uh, push down and uh, it goes woo woo. Lots of gauges for the pressure of it. Lots of valves to open up, up and down, sideways. I know this one they used to push up because they used to sit in these seats here, either on that side or uh, they would go to this side over here too and sit, depending on, oh, maybe two of them were in here. I don't know, one stocks the fire. And then behind it should have been the coal truck or the coal thing. Now, this is the boiler, guys. Look, but don't touch. So here's one of the old cars, Palmer cars. I guess we can go up on it if you want to see inside of it. So a Pullman cart is where they got fed. So they had a sink here, and they probably had some sort of cooktop over there. I smell a lot of oil. That must be from that guy. We'll go down and uh, check out the rest of this. Ooh, that's pretty. Here's the engine that we were looking at the boiler and all that check out all the lights that they used for signals different signals different colors different lamps lots of real photographs back in the day here in Durango look at this here's the engine engine's oil so the steam would come would come down into here and it would push this one forward right and it would push the other one backwards and it would go chunk 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 and then it'd have to go woo woo because they're on the way this one was made oh man august 
1920 or 23. 1908. Just so I'll show you that. See the cattle guard? And that's the opening of the, uh, the boiler there. There would be a big cover on that, which is round. Or actually, they probably use these on it too. Not real sure. Check this out. Nice bike. Try to get it to the museum. So we're back in uh, the front here. We got here about two something and uh, the train just came in and there's a whole bunch of people that just came in with that train. So I'm gonna continue this. Let's see, check that out. So the entrance was over there. We're halfway through uh, the Silverton trains coming back for the first one. You can see them coming through the uh, window over there maybe, maybe not. So this is what the uh, cars look like inside. love these models. Everywhere we go in a train museum, they have these models that some guy built, and it took him forever to build them. I appreciate all that work. Here's another engine going the opposite direction. But look, there's another model here. Check that one out. Somebody had to build that, guys. Huh? Fifty-eight, fifty-eight, seven. Trunks are worth any money? I bet you they are. Pretty place. Definitely got to come to this place and check it out. There's even more. We have an 12,000 square feet. There's the engine. And again, there's the boiler. There's uh, where you stoke the fire. I wish it was running. U.S. Marines, weapons. It's supposed to be a replica of George Washington's favorite pistols. what the Silverton Railroad looks like. These are model trains. Check that one out.
So as you can see, there are uh, tons of model trains here too, plus big trains. Uh, check this one out behind, behind, in front of me. This is a nice caboose when they used to have cabooses. So uh, we can go in and check this one out. I'll take a picture of it. Let's see. Uh, they did have a place to uh, get some water and make food, I guess, on the door. They have a nice uh, pot belly stove here that they boiled up. Up here is the uh, where the chimney went. Right up there. They got cabinets on each side. So there's going to be guys on each side of these, guys up on top up here, place to sit on both of them. And then check it out. Another bed. Got to have a place to write, do your work. So they have a uh, little desk here by the window. They can see if anybody's come on the train that wasn't supposed to be here. So that was a caboose. Now we're going to go on to another car. This is the uh, another car. They also have a uh, heater in it, which is a nice little pot belly stove. What else is in here, huh? The kitchen. Look at that. These come down and make beds, just like this one does here. See how that came down? No climbing or hanging, please. So they had a little vent from up here. I'm sure they all smoked in here. The men did probably. I don't think back in the day ladies ever smoked. And then you go completely down into the car and here's a, oh my goodness, look. I got a nice wash sink here. Wow, this is pretty neat. Really neat, huh? And then they have a big stove they can feed everybody. I bet you this was a worker one, huh? I don't think this was a Pullman car. A part of the Pullman car? I don't know either. That's pretty. So what do you think? This is really cool. Yeah. This is ancient, huh? Yeah. We've never been on one that's been restored like this ever. So that's pretty cool. Well, we're going to go off and uh, we're going to try to find more things to do while we're here. I think we've come to the end of the building, but we're going to go back and check out some more stuff, okay? So let's, uh, let's go. All right, guys. So uh, we just went through the museum. We've been here for a couple hours now. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, little uh, venture that we took today. Uh, we're in Durango, and uh, I don't know if there's any much going on here at all. So I think we're gonna leave here and we're probably gonna head home. Uh, it's a little warm out now. It's about 94 degrees, so it kind of went up over the last couple hours that we've been out. So I might wanna say that we're gonna go ahead and uh, close this video out for you guys. So you know what to do, uh, just go down below and you can go give us a like and then you can go ahead and uh, click the subscribe button and then last go ahead and do that uh, bell when you ring the bell you'll get notifications every sunday that we have a video out okay so guys uh we are in durango for another couple months yes and uh we'll show you more so you got to come back next week uh definitely check out our webpage, which is Mitch misfitsadventures.com uh, she writes her blog. I have all the pictures. You can go ahead. We've got links for all to go see all the, uh, the videos on YouTube. So check that out. We also have our Patreon account, which I'll show you right now. Patreon, just read this right here. And we have actually uh, three tiers to choose from. A $3 tier, a $6 tier, and a $16 tier. So go check those out for us. And then uh, join us next week on Misfits Adventures, right? Yeah. All right, guys. Write us. Call us. Say hello. Do something. Bye, guys. Bye, everybody. Love you all.